I just don't think it's a, there's a way for a relationship to last when you have a whole bunch of people, like millions, 2.5 million, yeah. up in your business. I ain't even going front, it's no judgment zone. I went through my girl's um, cell phone once and I found out she was a thought. <laughs> It's going to be all right. We're going to hug it out. You're going to keep you on the prayer list. Keep you on the prayer list. Everybody here, I'm sure, has been cheated on. You just don't trust them. Don't date them. We are women with very strong opinions. Women can be emotional, and that has to do a lot with period. That's bullshit. What's good, folks? This is your boy Blogzilla, and you're watching another episode of the No Judgment Zone. I have two beautiful guests with me, Demetri and Geneva, and we're about to get all up in their business. Blood, sweat, heels, swag, trophies. What? You said you wanted to show me your apartment. No more battery-operated penis. Real penis! Hey, boo. Y'all got the internet blowing up. Like, all I see is something like, <laughs> really? Really? Cause I know me, I know you, yeah. and we have the nicest conversations. They're like, yeah. yo, you are supreme OG. And I saw a clip, and I was like, <laughs> wow, like, what's going on? How, how come I never saw that side of you? Because you don't bring that side of me out. Oh, okay. You see, me and you, we have we have normal, regular, common interactions. If if there's ever an issue, which has never been between us, you come to me and I come to you, because that's how grown folks handle things. When you try to Ooh. do things in a different way, you get a different reaction. <laughs> so that's how grown Ooh. folks handle things, so some people on the show are not grown. I'm saying they didn't all behave adults, like that all We have time. differing opinions. I love the idea of the show. It's like professional women in New York City, and you guys are, you clash a little bit, but you're professional, like you, uh, with Ebony now, you're, you're still paying the bills out in Harlem. What is your role on the show, and like, how do you fit into this element? Well, I'm a style and pop culture journalist and a brand strategist, and so for me, you know, I'm the youngest on the cast, and so, oh, you baby. know. Um, I'm the youngest, not a baby. <laughs> but, you know, I think for me, like, you know, as far as my career, I'm in a position where, you know, my mantra is always work first, brand later. And so I feel like my education and my experiences in media has really powered my brand that I'm emerging. And so the show is going to be an amazing platform to just show what I'm trying to create. As far as interacting with the girls, I mean, I think that I'm always honest. I'm always straight, no shay shirt. Like, I don't have time to be anybody else but Geneva, you know. And so I think that's what I bring. It's just really honesty and just unapolog unapologetic just rawness and you know I don't cut my I don't you know really like bite my tongue if I have something to say I will say it I'm not a fake person mm -hmm. you know I'm not gonna turn up for the cameras I'm really being Geneva anybody who knows me will agree with that and you know that's about it I had a good time since this is the no judgment zone when was the last time you went through your man's um, cell phone well, I was the girl that, you know, that all kind of happened with. And I mean, I was in a relationship with a man. We're no longer together. Thank God for small favors. Um, and, you know, I did have to investigate because there was just some behavior that was a little strange. And, you know, he had becoming, he became like increasingly insecure and it was just really crazy. And he left his situation open. He left it open. So I was like, well, you know. Right. Maybe I should just Yo. go ahead and partake, and I did, and I'm thankful that I did. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you'll watch episode two and three, and you'll see what happens with that. But, you know, I'm thankful I did because I felt like what happened and I, what, I, what was revealed mm -hmm. was really, like, crazy and traumatic, and I'm happy I found out. Well, I'm not mad at you because I ain't even going front. It's no judgment zone. I went through my girl's um, cell phone once, and I found out she was a thought. What's a thought? That hoe over there. Oh! Uh-oh. So now, Demetri, have you opened up your personal life? Because I know you were really private about who you were with and who you were dating, but have you opened it up a little bit more for the show? You know, I think that's such a misconception. Like, I, I my blog, my brand is sort of built on talking about my dating adventures and the people that I've dated. Um, in terms of my fiance, he's he's not like in the industry. He's not like he's like I don't want to be written about. I don't want to feel like I am hits for your blog. And I was my blog was super popular when we met, and so I was like I respect that. Um, he's featured on the show, but in terms of like getting into like the nitty gritty of you know our ups and downs, because we do have them like every other couple. I'm like no, I chose not to to show that to the cameras. Like. It, I just don't think it's a, there's a way for a relationship to last when you have a whole bunch of people, like millions, 2.5 million, yeah. up in your business. Swag, trophies. Yeah. Um, so, we had a conversation here, not not us, but I had a conversation with a couple of friends after watching the um, that divorce court clip where the girl was like, my husband is just like way too nice. He tells me he loves me twice a day, he cooks for me, he's making me fat. I was like, oh. and the judge, judge, the judge was like, you're crazy. So like. What do you think about those girls who don't want a nice guy, a guy who's nice, a guy who tells them I love you, a guy who does the things that men are typically supposed to do in a relationship? 
I mean, some people don't know what a healthy relationship is, yeah. and some people really just like drama. Drama is their version of love. So if you, you know, you he doesn't call, he's not paying attention. You have to force him to, or try to force him to. You have to call all the time. You have to do all the effort. Um, and when he finally gives you that, like that one nugget of attention, you feel like, oh, I've earned something. Mm. Some people are just like they like dysfunctional yeah. stuff. And then some girls just haven't been through enough. Being, uh, be, being through enough of being fed up. Like when you have experienced being fed up, you yeah. want a nice guy. Like I want a nice guy after what I've yeah. gone through with some men. Like, like I want a guy that's gonna be twice really a day. nice. You, you cook so he much just, that I'm oh, like, girl, yeah. you got good morning sex every morning. Yeah, like, everybody mad at that. Morning sex be doing it. I'm not a big fan of phone. Calls. I mean, I like talking on the phone, but I need to schedule a phone call. Like if you call me out the blue, see, blue, I'm not. Why are you guys like that? We okay, can't so talk on the phone. Also not a phone person. I want to talk on the phone. See, no. now, see, that's my problem. Like a girl will call me right now. Now, and I'm a person that always pick up my phone, no matter what. Like, I always pick up my phone. So, like, I pick up the phone, I'm like, yo, I can't really talk right now. And that just bothers me because you could have texted me and said, hey, can you talk? I, yeah, I'm no, I'm with the text. Like, text me, give me the pretext if right. I can talk. Let's set up a phone conversation. But, you know, if it's like, you know, after work, we at home, like, it's like 10, 11 o'clock, why we can't have a cute little 30 minute catch up? So, what other relationship advice would you give to women out there who are not fed up, who are or not getting the phone calls, or who are calling them in too much? Because rap music, like if you listen to rap music, it's Oh crazy. God, please don't date, base your dating life on what you hear in like song lyrics. I used to back when I was younger, when I was in the 80s and 90s. Well, I wasn't young in the 80s or 90s. But yeah, like, it's crazy. Yeah, um, I would say hold your standards high. Because mm -hmm. you can find someone who will meet them. A guy who's really interested, you're not asking for anything too crazy, like what you're saying, like a phone call, a conversation, text me back, yeah. come see me sometime, take me out. Like those are very basic things. And men know, you know, when there's a woman you're really interested in, you know how to step up. And you do. Yeah. But And you like doing it. That's the other thing, I too. I really do like doing it. Exactly. But I, I do kind of feel a way, going back to music, because back in the day, I used to, you know, you could... You could act like a boys the men song, you know what I mean? And you like Well, I want you to act yeah. like a boys the men song. I don't but want you to I listen act like to boys the men as an adult no. though. They were kind of really clingy. Although we come to the end of oh, the road, but I can't let go. Girl. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, music it was is romantic stalkerish. for lyrics, but I kind of feel you on the clingy nest. Right. Yeah. It's like I'll stop by your house and no one them calls when I answer her. <laughs> Sit outside your okay, that's before the night. No, no, oh, no, you no, went back no, to like no, Lenny. But I'm saying, no, but he's Jones. Oh, he, he's, he's always in here. Orin oh my God! Really? Orange Jones. That's my boy. Oh, okay. Orin is always in here. That was a very random name, and then yeah. Oh wow. He was in here. I miss you so much. I followed you today. Can't so you nothing but advice. Right. That's my favorite. Okay, that's stalking. Nothing but cool. it I, is, it I is. just started following you around. Okay, okay, it's a balance. Right, right. Can we right. get some balance that between like right. the clinging Black. stalker and like the Rick Ross I give no yeah. about you? What is the definition of a stalker? Because a lot of women use the word stalking a little bit too loosely. I mean, when you call somebody from a block number like two times <laughs> in a row, like, sir, yeah. stop. You know, it's simple, this is not Twitter. working for me. Yeah. You know, it can stop a lot of what people call stalking, per se. Because right. I think men want some sort of sense of clarity, mm -hmm. just like women do. You know, like the guy who falls off the face of the earth, and we're like, well, you know, did something happen? And he's like, well, I'm not going to call him. Well, let me just text him. Well, I'm not going to whatever. But I don't understand why he hasn't. Like, guys yeah. want, like, some sort of we do. closure in that sense, That's absolutely too. right. We we, we we need that. Yeah, why she ain't calling? Right. Oh, you ain't interested. Hi. Y'all cut it. My cut it go off so quickly. So quickly. Oh, a little heartbreaker you know, over here, huh? I am. I, no, not right now. I, I found it in there. I got hurt. I, oh. I'm quick with it. Yeah, last time we talked, you. I was in love last yeah, time. Yeah, you talked. was like, I was yeah, like in oh, it. What in it? Go ahead and tell it. So next we're going to no judgments. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is he really about to? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Shit just happened, you know. Okay, I know. Right. I know. <laughs> it's gonna Sorry. be alright. Right. So we're gonna hug it out. He's gonna keep you gonna keep, keep you on the prayer list. Keep you on the prayer list. I can't. <laughs> One time she just need a hug. So tell me about you. you got a new book coming out. I have a new book coming. You're out. working on the book, or is it done? Um, it's still in progress. Mm -hmm. We're doing like the final stages of it right now, but it's supposed to come out in March. It's called "Don't Waste Your Pretty: The Go-To Guide for Making Smarter Decisions in Life and Love." But it's like a hardcore dating advice book, dating relationship, um, engaged marriage. Um, we're talking about like how to how to find a man, how to date a man, how to get into a relationship, how to get a ring. How, get what married. About how to keep and, a man. How to keep a man. That's in there too. Okay. Okay. I think girls have to find a man. You don't know how to keep them. Oh, so That's I don't true. think the finding. No. 
That's hard to find? Uh, to find like somebody who's compatible? Mm -hmm. I think it's hard for everybody to find somebody who's compatible. I think, I think you're right. Yeah, especially yeah. in New York. You could just meet people it's all the time, but somebody sex, who though. really... You don't really yeah. have to find someone, because sex is so readily available, it's so easy to find yeah, sex. You can have it with yourself. I don't know about that. You can't. wrong with self-pleasure? Nothing's wrong with self-pleasure, but it's a lot easier when you, you know, stick your thing in her and nine months later that baby come out. Well, you don't so have you that have problem you? if you self-pleasure. I got that actually from next week's guest, Cuba Gooden Jr. Um, oh. And Boys Boys in the Hood, he goes, um, he goes, you know, what you know about sex? He goes, I know I stick my thing in her, and nine um, months like, later, yeah, the baby it, it, come out. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. That's Lawrence Fishburne was though. so fine in that movie. I don't know about that, but okay. okay. Well, Lawrence was. Fishburne was so fine. He's still fine. Yeah. Is it? You like yeah. older men? Oh, I prefer older men. I cannot wait till I'm old. My wife probably is not even born yet, I swear. Uh, tell me about your next project as well. Well, I just recently launched my agency, the 1530 Agency. It's a digital agency for fashion, beauty, and lifestyle mm -hmm. brands who want to market to millennial women. So, okay. you know, I'm a journalist and a content creator. And so, you know, I just really want to create a moment where, you know, black women and brown women can really be marketed to smart in a smart way. And so that's what digital strategy, strategic partnerships, content creations. And so we really want to do some major things. Just got finished watching another episode of the No Judgment Zone. Join us next week when we arm wrestle Transformers. Hi, I'm Geneva. And I'm Demetria. And we're from Bravo's Blood, Sweat, and Heels. Tune into Bravo Sunday nights at 9 p.m., 8 central. Big account. So see my pictures, then do that. That's cool. So you're saying that the other girl is. Probably yeah. because she sees every fucking. Between your legs, I keep it high. I feel ah, your ass, I see. <laughs> <laughs>